Welcome to the studio. Today I'm going to talk to you about one of my favourite mediums I like to use when I'm oil painting. A while back, working in the studio house in Berlin, a couple of the other artists introduced me to this liquid. It's basically a modified oil with uh, some sort of petroleum product in it, you can smell it. And I use it with the oils to when I'm working thin to, for my glazing. Basically it dries the oil, paint out the oils relatively quickly and within about six hours I can paint again over what I've just done. There's a couple of versions of it. There's uh, very thick down to very thin. This is the middle range uh, but when I work with it I brush it out quite thinly and I don't see any of the, the brush strokes in it. So I use it for my glazing and I use it for the, the fine detail and to speed up the drying process. Okay, now I'm going to have some fun here and try and film and paint at the same time. So I only really need a little bit of the liquid in the paint to actually have any sort of drying effect on it. I really don't need a lot and with this of course it um, makes the paint less opaque well depending on how much I apply to it and it will also allow me to extend the paint too as I paint. So it helps with the finer details, it helps with the drying process, but I of course can also, if I want to glaze larger areas, I can also use it for that. So it really is a very versatile media. I like it a lot. Um, disadvantages, uh, for me, none that I can say. Uh, some of my more technical friends or um, friends with a bit more background in art conservation, the only thing they can really say is that because it's a commercial product, they don't know what the materials are used in it, it hasn't been around for a couple of hundred years so they don't know what its longevity is like. Um, so openly in the courses that they give they'll, you know, but privately they'll say, yeah, it's, um, it's something good to use. It comes down to what you like, what you want to use as far as I'm concerned. Um, I know there's some people that work with uh, other traditional media that that in itself can also be a disaster sometimes. So it really comes down to what you're comfortable with and what effects you can achieve and whether ultimately you manage to produce what you like. Thanks for joining me.